Assessing the medial elbow, this is the position I like to use to assess my medial elbow because it gives me good access to what I want to see. I can extend, I can flex the elbow and it's really nice for intervention work as well. So if we have a look at our common flexor tendon, I pretty much just palpate the medial epicondyle and pop my probe bang down on top. So if I then, once I sit on the top up here, I grab my bony facet anatomy and I'm going to angle my probe towards the patient's thumb. And as I angle towards the patient's thumb, I get truly more on that common flexor tendon and I can see the musculotendinous junction quite nicely. So angling towards the patient's thumb. And I fan through that enthesis so I can do enthesis assessment. I can do proximal tendon assessment. I can assess the proximal musculotendinous junction. There's our common flexor. From here, if I keep this end of my probe anchored and rotate the end towards the patient's little finger, I then come down more towards the ulnar collateral ligament. So the anterior band of our ulnar collateral ligament. And we can see the anterior band of our ulnar collateral ligament here is this fan or sailed shaped apparatus inserting in onto the subline tubercle. So probe towards the patient's little finger, probe towards the patient's thumb, common flexor, ulnar collateral ligament in through here and the underlying joint underneath. So we see the fat underneath in the joint, we see the, the joint space underneath. So if you had a, an effusion of hemarthrosis, this is where you'd see it medially. Loose bodies of the elbow often sit under in here as well quite commonly. To inject your common flexor, again, this is the way we'll go about it. I, I'd move myself around, but I'll come up in through here and I would bring my needle in under in through here to inject now the thing you'd want to be aware of is what's happening with the ulnar nerve and we'll talk about that in a minute. In this position the patient's ulnar nerve is sitting right on the top so you try not to hit that when you're injecting. So we might put him into a bit more of extension to try to get the nerve out of the way. He needs a lot of extension to really get it out of the way so I might even position his arm out here to get the ulnar nerve out of the way and now do my injection out in through here so I can drop on in and I can inject, I can dry needle, I can inject intratendinous agents, so I can inject peritendinously, depending on what your aim is. So that's our common flexor assessment, common flexor injection. The other thing we're going to talk about is our ulnar nerve. So in this position in through here, I'm just going to palpate his ulnar groove and put my probe on in the middle and try to find his ulnar nerve. And we already know in this patient it's sitting dislocated, it's sitting out of a groove with elbow flexion, it's sitting up and over the common flexor. So I'm going to put him in a little bit more extension, I'll just oh, as it clunks back into position. So we can grab down in through here, we'll track proximally, we can see our ulnar nerve sitting up in through here. And as we scan up towards the distal end, we can see our ulnar nerve in our ulnar groove, assessing the loose bodies, assessing for joint pathology and the, the deep component that we're assessing here is the, the lateral band, the deep band of the ulnar collateral ligament. Then we follow it down in between the two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris. So the ulnar nerve can sit within its groove, it can sit happily, it can come out and dislocate and pop up, which is a, and pop back in, snap back in, so it can snap and sit up. Usually these get the most irritated when you have a bit of bony spurring on our common flexor, or if you do this a lot, it sits out of its position in through here. But where most of your compression tends to occur is down between the two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris, the FCE aponeurosis, or the Osborne's fascia. And this in through here is where it tends to be compressed a lot of the time. Let's just put in a bit more flexion. Just put your hand on your chin there. Thank you. So as we bring it down here, as we add a bit more flexion, we can see our ulnar nerve goes from sitting on top of our common flexor, quite a long way on top of our common flexor, to go and wrap around that FCU upon neurosis out in through here, to go down into the forearm, up in through there. So this is our, our common point of FCU entrapment, is between the two heads of flexor carpi ulnaris. Relax it down. That's nice. Ulnar nerve. FCU and ulnar collateral ligament assessment. <laughs>